We have already completed static and causal LTI systems and now we will have discussion on stable LTI system. We will see the condition for which the LTI system is stable and like last two cases we will again focus on the impulse response. Let's say the impulse response of an LTI system is HT and if this impulse response is absolutely integrable absolutely integrable then the LTI system is known as stable LTI system and if the impulse response is not absolutely integrable then the LTI system is known as unstable LTI system so we have to find if the impulse response is absolutely integrable or not this means integration from minus infinity to infinity mod ht dt should be less than infinity or we can say the integration from minus infinity to infinity mod ht dt should be finite it should not be equal to infinity it should be finite now if you remember the last few lectures we have discussed the energy signals the absolutely integrable word is not used first time in this lecture we have already used it while understanding the energy signals and I told you the energy signals the energy signals are absolutely integrable signals so you need the knowledge of energy signals to deal with stable LTI system whenever the impulse response is given it is nothing but the signal which represents the LTI system so impulse response or a signal is given to you and you have to find whether it is energy signal or not if it is energy signal then we can say that it is absolutely integrable and as it is absolutely integrable the LTI system will be stable so the process is very simple you only have to find out if the given impulse response is energy signal or not and we already have a lot of discussions on energy signals power signals and neither energy nor power signals so it is not very complicated to find whether the given signal is energy signal or not there is one more signal which is absolutely integrable the impulse signal is also absolutely integrable signal now we will solve one question and we will have little bit more clarity about the condition we are having here but first I will put this important condition inside the box so that you can remember it the impulse response of the LTI system should be absolutely integrable and if this happens the LTI system is a stable LTI system let's take the example in this example the impulse response HT is equal to e raised to power minus 2t ut now there is no need to plot the waveform of impulse response because we can see e raised to power minus 2t will give us decaying exponential waveform and the decaying exponential waveform will last from 0 to infinity because ut is multiplied so from minus infinity to 0 ht will be equal to 0 and from 0 to infinity there will be exponentially decaying waveform and the exponentially decaying waveform we can call as converging so the impulse response is converging in nature and whenever we have converging waveform the signal is energy signal this is one property we have already discussed so by using this property we can say that the impulse response we are having here is an energy signal and as it is an energy signal this implies it is absolutely integrable so if you calculate integration minus infinity to infinity mod ht dt you will find it is less than infinity therefore our condition is satisfied and we can say that the LTI system having this impulse response is stable in nature so our LTI system is stable in nature and you have to follow the same process 
Every time just focus on the energy signal. If the given impulse response is an energy signal, then the system is stable. And if it is not energy signal, it is power signal or any NP signal, then it is unstable LTI system. So this is all for this lecture. You should remember this condition. In the next lecture, we will solve few more problems and you will have clear understanding of stable LTI systems. So this is all. See you in the next one.